If we go back and look at the example we just worked, that I work at using vector operations. We have a plane, and the plane is going 724 kilometers per hour at uh, a bearing of north 30 degrees east. So north 30 degrees east would be a, a normal direction angle of 60 degrees. So to find our plane vector, we're going to say 724 times the cosine of 60 degrees, and that's going to be our x, and 724 times the sine of 60 degrees will be our y component. And so our plane vector will turn out to be 362, and the y component is 627.002 if we round it to three decimal places. So now we want to go back and find our wind vector. And the wind, it says, is blowing from the west. So if you start west and go from the west, you'd be going toward the east. So this would be at a direction angle of zero degrees. So our x component would be 32 times the cosine of zero degrees. And our y component would be 32 times the sine of zero degrees. So our wind vector in component form would be 32, 0. So our resultant would be the sum of the plane plus the wind. So 362 plus 32 would give us 394. And 627.002 plus 0 would give us 627.002. And so that is our resulting of the plane and the wind written in vector component form. So now to find uh, its magnitude, to get our speed, we would take the square root of 394 squared plus 627.002 squared, and we'll get that our resulting speed is equal to 740.519, and that would be kilometers per hour, which is the same thing as we got when we worked the problem using law of sines and cosines. We now want to find um, the direction. So let's look at the angle we have, or the vector we have, excuse me. We're going uh, right 394 and up 627. So this is the angle that we're looking at, theta. So we can write the tangent of theta is equal to 627.002 divided by 394. And that makes theta, if we do inverse tangent on our calculator, equal to 57.855 degrees. And so if we write it just as a direction, that's what it would be. Let's write our answer as a bearing since the... It was given to us as a bearing, and so uh, we would want to find this angle. And so if we say 90 degrees minus 57.855 degrees, we'll get um, 32.145 degrees. So we could even say uh, north 32.145 degrees east is the direction that the plane is now flying after the effect of the wind.